Hello, welcome here in the Römer and Pelizius Museum in Hildesheim. It is a museum which houses one of the largest ancient art collections in Germany. It was founded at the beginning of the last century by Wilhelm Pelizius, who lived for many years in Egypt and was financing excavations, and he also bought many objects, like all these commemorative monuments which you can see here at this wall. They were very surprising for us because when we started to look for the place where they originally came from, there was a lot of discussion. And we were sure that they were all coming from the capital of Ramses II, this great pharaoh, which was situated in the eastern delta of Egypt and was discovered by two Egyptian colleagues, also in the last century, and their names were Mahmoud Hamza and Labi Papashi. If you are looking at this stele, there is something quite surprising for us. If you look here, for example, for this gentleman, who was a high officer and had the name Amun Merinacht, he is looking to a statue of Ramses II. And the statue looks at the stele a little bit smaller than the gentleman by himself. But if we look to the name and the title of the statue, we know it was a monumental figure more than 11 meters high and was standing in front of the temple or of a palace. So therefore for us, it is very interesting to think about the place where the stele came from originally. And we are quite sure that they were placed by the people who are represented here in front of the temple near to these colossal figures of the great pharaoh Ramses II. This is part of a door, a door which comes from a house most probably in Pyramesse. Pyramesse was the city of the Ramesside, the capital of um, this empire. And it was very important that it was situated in the eastern delta of Egypt to have a close contact not only to Egypt itself, but also to the neighbors. Very interesting, if you look to this little, a little bit more close, and you can see in the center, the name of Ramses II, but then you see on both sides a gentleman who has raised his arms in adoration. If you look to a little bit more close to this gentleman, you can see he has a very funny elongated head. This is not typical for an ancient Egyptian. And if you look a little bit more close to the text, and if you can read it, then we see that he has a title called Ver, a great one, and then comes his name. What we are believing today is that he was an important representative, maybe from a city or from a region in the Near Eastern area, and that for a while he was living as a representative of this region or city in the capital of Ramses II in Pyramus. Interesting for us is that we have here a lintel which really looks like Egyptian and was part of a house of a foreigner in the Ramses city. So what we are reconstructing now is an area there where maybe the kind of ambassadors or representatives from other regions in the ancient world were living and staying for a while in Pyramus. Ramses II had many, many sons. And most of them are with him together in the army or also in the administration of the state of Egypt. Here we have a lintel, an entrance um, of a house. And this house most probably was in the Ramses city in Pyramesa. You can see here this gentleman called um, Ramses Merizet, which means Ramses, it's the name of his father, beloved of Zed. And you can see here in the very upper region a tiny figure of a seated um, creature, which is a god Zed. So god Zed, or Ness, uh, is a god of the wild nature, of power, and therefore he was very important for the army. Because if he was supporting the princes and the army itself, they were strong enough to fight any enemy. <laughs> 